Welcome to the Shopcut tutorial. We're going to begin by clicking on Project Inspire. And once that opens up, we're going to go down to the Helpful Multimedia Links for Presentations. Once that opens, I'm going to download the zip file. Once that download has completed, in the lower left hand corner, I'm going to bring that up. And I'm going to look for the Shotcut EXE. So I'm going to scroll down to Shotcut EXE. You'll see right now there's no icon associated with that. So what I want to do is double click it. It's going to ask for me to extract all. And I'm going to select, select Extract All. Finishes extracting. I'll need to reopen it. And we'll see the change where Shotcut EXE now has an icon associated with it. I'm going to double click on that to open it. I'm going to select a video that hopefully you've done at this point to open. Once I have that in the frame, I'm going to drop it into my timeline. And you're going to want to click and drag it down. It takes a second for it to load. Now that I've got my video dropped to the bottom, and it's in my timeline where I can adjust it, some of the things that you want to be aware of, scroll to wherever it is that you want to perhaps do some editing. Let's begin with cutting. You're going to obviously want to cut some of your video, I would think. There's this little icon right here by the magnet. That is the cut icon. So what I've actually done is you'll see I've cut this video in half. Let's say I want to cut here as well and delete what's in between. I now have that space. I have the ability to move this over and put them even. Or perhaps I want to insert, I want to take a couple of seconds, open other. Let's create a text. Video is loud and violent. Now I can take this and adjust it up. You'll see that middle icon right there. Some of the other things that you may want to do is change and drag that and put it right in the middle. Let's see if we were successful. This video is loud and violent. So we were. Some of the other things that you're going to want to be interested in, I would think, if you go to filters, some of the things that you can add, if you, you can add a fade in audio, because this is rather loud, fade in video, fade out audio, fade out video, fairly simple. You can gain volume, um, add some contrast. You can mute temporarily on the sound if you just want to key in on some of the video only. Audio has a lot of different options. So after you've completed, you'll want to save your project and save your progress throughout, I would think. I'm going to save this as new project shortcut. Let's add, let's do another text. Opening slide. I can adjust my background color. Now I've got options over here. I don't really want this to be bold. Opening slides. Let's move it up to the middle. I don't want this one to be bold. I want it to be just regular. And you can also change font. So now I have an opening slide. I'm happy with that. Let's insert it to the beginning. So I'm going to go to the beginning of this. I now have opening slide. I have the video. So let's say I'm finished editing. I've cut my video, I've added slides, I've done my filters, and I've added transitions, fade ins, fade outs. Now I'm finished. I've saved my project because I've already saved it once, so you can continue to save it as you work. You're going to want to export your video. So go to File, Export Video, select YouTube, and it'll give you the option, um, or you can have others if you'd like, but that's the MP4 format. So I'm going to export my file, select Export File, New Project Shotcut. MP4, and I can see my progress over here under job. I see that my video is now produced. Let me just make sure it opens up and it's indeed mine. That's indeed the one we just created, so we know we've got it correct. So hopefully that's a good beginning tutorial. Good luck!